Hi, I'm Keith Bilbrey. This is my many moment. Going back through the years, I have so many memories of many. She kind of took up with me when I first came to the Opry in 1975 and was my buddy throughout. Uh, the story I remember most, I guess, was her very last performance in Joliet, Illinois. We were doing a 10-city tour of the Grand Ole Opry and it turned out to be her last performance. But I remember that night so well. We, I had my sons with me, Mark and Eric, and uh, on the way to Joliet from Chicago, I was telling them about Minnie's story of getting stuck in the revolving door. You've all heard that story. And, uh, you know, I come to realize trying to tell them that story, how precise that lady's timing was. Because no matter how I tried to tell it, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So we got to the hotel in, in Joliet and just happened to hit the lobby at the same time that uh, Minnie and uh, her husband were getting there. And I said, Minnie, these are my boys. She'd already met them. Uh, she said, oh, yeah, I remember them. I said, well, I was trying to tell them the story of the revolving door, and I just can't tell it like you can. Well, boys, I'll tell you. And we sat down in the lobby, and she proceeded to give them a, like a 30-minute private show. And it was just a moment we'll, we'll never, ever forget. Uh, and then we went to the show that night, and, and it was her last performance. And... Uh, that's, that's a lasting memory I'll have the rest of my life. I love Minnie Pearl so much.